Welcome back, lady lads and gentle lads, to another episode of Crying Sons. It's been a while since I've actually uh, done a video on the channel, and that's because I was busy with work for the past uh, several weeks. I was uh, getting thrown just enough to keep myself too busy to want to do anything as soon as I got back home from work. It was rather, uh, it was rather tough. Either way, though, I'm back. I'm here, doing content, and I've got myself a new microphone, which I'm very happy with. <clears throat> well, regardless. Got our typical two turns grace period before the enemies start following us, and our first encounters with a pirate. Nice. Um... We could try to turn the Omnis back on, like, see if that does anything. Or we can offer him a chance to surrender. I doubt he wants the Omnis back on, so let's just give him a surrender offer. Okay! Perfect! Talk smack, get whacked. And even hell, plus four Neo N, this is perfect for us. Now, local system, what else do we have here? We have an army depot and an ejected cryopod. Let's deal with the ejected cryopod first. I hopefully will get myself another officer out of it. A house Vicarelli beacon, okay. Well, let's listen to the message. Not working to begin with. House Ficarelli, truly the worst of the houses. Okay, good. Let's prepare a mission down to the surface, scanning the planet, you know, the typical stuff. We've done this before. An environmental disaster. That's okay, good. Two ejected cryopods, however. Who has the best chances of success? Um, she will come back safely. She will give us 76 to 100% of the resources. Perfect. Losing between 3 and 9 commandos. We can afford to do that. Let's launch. Okay. Failing a persuasion check. Nothing found. No damage done, though. Piloting check. Avoids danger. Perfect. Persuasion check again. We, uh, we take some damage. A hacking check. Okay. Demolition check. Nice. Another danger avoided. Uh, we will be continuing, of course. Ejected crow pod. Come on. Big bucks. Demolition piloting? Perfect. We get an officer. Keep going. There's the environmental disaster. Engineering check. Bad luck. And a persuasion check. And a piloting check. That was heckin' dangerous. Let's give it one more shot. Let's go. There's another ejected cryopod. Demolition's piloting check? Beautiful. And another officer. Let's go. Good. More fuel. Very nice. And extraction point. That went pretty well, all things considered. Low on scrap, but high in officers. Nice. Very good. So we have Mac on board, and this Thomas guy. So Thomas is like a regular old boy, and then this Mac guy, I guess, is actually a unique officer. So... What's he do? Heals all squadrons ad adjacent to the hull integrity system. Okay, I think we already have one of those. Yep, proximity repair. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what's she do? Advanced reload time. Okay, actually... We have her in the wrong slot. 
Um, she should be right here. Very good. And this guy has a uh, fighting, demolitions, and an engineering check um, chance. So that's good, I guess. So we'll have him around. Um, tactical weapon duration of effects increased by plus 50%. Okay, cool. We don't really have weapons of that caliber, do we? Um, Sub-Zero gun, actually. But I think reload time is much more important right now. Yes, for sure. Nothing that directly applies to piloting, but eh, whatever. We'll send this guy into the squadron's bay, why not? Finally, going to Java 4. Checking out what we have here. A Concord Civvy ship, okay. Attempt to do a flyby. Ghost ship, all right. Uh, attempt to contact. What'll it do? No response. Continue on. Sucks, I guess. Let's visit the shop. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing to buy, really. Just a cruiser, drone Mark IV crafter. Another basilisk. Hmm. Let's fill up our commandos. We lost a few. Uh, we could sell off one of our boys. Don't know why we'd want to. I mean, she's weakened. You know, let's go for it. It'll give us some, uh, extra room to secure ourselves with, uh, and more weapon system support. Um, let's go for an additional hull bar. I think that'll help us out in the long run. Back to the star map now. Um, and there's a Neo N child we can talk to here, so uh, let's go for it. I didn't notice that earlier when I was looking at the map, and I quite forgot that we even did that last episode, it's been so long. Okay, they don't want us to attack them. What's up? Where are you headed, boys? Attacked by scrappers. Uh, thankfully they managed to escape, finding a new home. Anywhere that's safe. Any more planet where they can lay Hey, I can't English all of a sudden. Brap. Okay. Eh, let's offer them some fuel. We have some to spare. We're about to get a lot more. Oh. Not times to be prideful. Besides, we want a gun. Cool. We got more gun. But we have a Sub-Zero gun mark too, which is better. So, whatever. Um... Let's throw one of the fighters into this slot. I noticed it was empty. I guess we'll scavenge some Neo N. Three fuel. Very good. What we have in local system? Mercenary outpost. Well, let's first go to the secret military base. Here we are, sir. The supposed location of the Neo N child. What do we do? Send a message to the station, Lieutenant. Ready when you are. Captain Idaho of the NS Odysseus, I have come seeking the wisdom of the Neo N child. Admiral Idaho, I've been expecting you. Welcome to my station. I am the 21st neo N child of these sectors. You look like a Mechanicus. The Silent Sisters have ground some neo N, and I have snorted its mystical blue powder. Lovely. Visions fill my mind even now as I speak to you. You've come seeking answers. Maybe I can provide some. Go on. What questions do you have? Um... Who or what shut down the Omnis?
there's a lonely girl with no face that I met and didn't meet, who is everyone and is no one. She used the key. Yet you will never find the lonely girl, for space is a cold and dark, and the screams within go unheard. Cool. How do we turn them back on? Scattered child must become whole again. Travel to the end of the cluster and speak to Mother. She can provide you with additional information. That is, if she doesn't kill you first. Um... We don't know yet enough. Where is Mother? She's at the end of the sector, no doubt. Um... Okay. Best to avoid her. Okay, she's likely to kill us, which is like, okay, bit of a nod towards the fact we're playing a roguelike. Let's speak to a silent sister. Okay, yeah, mother removed their tongues. Let's end a conversation. Um... She's 11 years old, cancer-stricken because she's snorting too much, uh, space cocaine, and, uh, well, so long as she's doing it willingly and of her own volition, I suppose nothing we can do about it. Ah, she wants to see an Omni. Well, we've gotten our well wishes. Let's prepare a mission down to the surface. Scanning the planet. What do we have? Secret military base, no major threats. Once again, uh, lose all or none of our commandos. Chance to be injured. Um... Well, let's go. Give it a shot, Juliana Gamal. You have the best numbers on this expedition. Very indiscreet of you. We found a resource cache, though. That's pretty nice. Let's continue on. A lot of, uh, poor attempts. Well, don't die. Okay, nothing found in the resource cache. Secret military base, come on, give us some goods. Demolition, piloting, perfect. Fire Mark III. Mm. I'm going to retreat. Let's leave some of the commandos behind. Yeah, I mean, it's tough but I don't want to be losing a fighter prototype on the off chance that she gets injured. So we've lost some boys. It's disappointing, but we're going to need everything we can get for the upcoming battle. Now then. Get that fighter of Mark III Ghost. Has stealth. Activates stealth mode. Taking damage is cancel. Stealth mode becomes invisible to enemies while active. First attack deals two times damage and two times heat to systems. Alright. Now then. Mercenary outpost. We can get some of our boys back. Incoming transit. Uh, transmission first. Um... You got a problem? What kind of problem? It's our colony's birth rate, sir. Frankly, we need to make it a baby. Ask why this is a problem. Ask how you can help. Mm-hmm. Ah, population controls. Um... Everyone here is getting pregnant. Old birth tech here. But we can't get it to work. Um... Why not send a specialist?
Well, so long as he can figure it out, I'm happy. He did it. Well done. Very, very good. Ah, just some more Neo N. Uh, I was hoping for scrap. Whatever, let's visit the shop. Um, should we buy some commandos? Any commandos? Non-zero amount of commandos? What does a heavy, heavy nuke do? It uh, damages the battlefield a lot. Hundred damage. It's basically gonna wipe things out, but has a hundred twenty-five second delay. I'm not sure I want that. Um, Piercer Laser Mark One. Well, we're definitely selling you. I'm definitely selling that there, boy. Um, all the fighters I have here, I sort of need. The problem is, is it possible for me to get together a Piercer Mark Three? So I need 150. I have 75. I'm 75 off. If I sell one of these, I'll be closer. This will get me there. Okay, cool. We sold off another officer. We're getting ourselves a Piercer Laser Mark III. Beautiful. Let's get it right into action. 25 damage, but like faster reload time. Exactly what we need. Star map, let's go. Um, three anomalies in Vasigas. Well, it's either deal with, um... Okay, no matter how we're doing it, we're dealing with, like, four anomalies or something. Um... That said, a secret military base. But this has more systems. More ch chances of getting damaged, however. Honestly, optimal choice, I think, right now is getting here. Here, here, here. Let's do it. Least likely to kill us, even. Okay. Um, let's send some commandos to search the ship. Some sort of derelict that got caught in some battle. Um, no one's been in there in a long time. Message in blood. The survivalists live, whatever that means. Okay. Wow, we're just rolling in ship fuel right now. A local system has another secret military base. I could have ostensibly gotten some commandos, like one. Uh, what is the lieutenant? Yeah, sure, let's mourn. It'll only take 11 scrap. I mean, we can spare it. So long as we don't have, like, a riot on our hands because people are too sad or something. Um... Oh. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Close map. We want to prepare a mission. Scan the planet. Rogue automated Kosh mech. Oof. Um... We'll get a lot of resources out of this. Let's put Mac into action. See what he can do. We have the minimum requirements, we also have the maximum possible complement of uh, troops we need. Let's see how he does. Engineering resource cache. He also has 8 health. He's actually pretty good. More engineering, more scrap. Battleship wreckage. Fight, demolition, perfect. Persuasion check, eh, sad stuff. Let's continue. Engineering check. Danger avoided. Ah, keep going. Fight. Nice. Keep going. You can do it. Beautiful. And here's the rogue automated Kosh mech. Hacking attempt. Bad. Wow. Okay. Looks impressive. Somehow he made it through that. He's pretty bunged up. Don't like it. And we've gotten a frigate. 
Already this is working out. Oh boy. Don't take a hit. And we made it to extraction. We lost some boys. We made it to extraction, but we got 169 scrap and a frigate. Pretty, pretty good. Let's see what we can do with that now. Um, do we go for another hull point? Or do we maximize health points on hull? I say we maximize hull health points. Um, well, we took ourselves down to only three officers, so any officer support systems are meh. And squadron dock recovery. I think we ought to put our successive points into that. If we can max this out in the coming sectors, I think that'll be great for us. Or as opposed to sectors, star systems. Tanagra is our next point of contact. And what do we have here? Another civilian ship from the looks. Incoming message. Good, I understood that. Yes. Um... They might need our help. And I doubt we'll need many more commandos. And if things go sour, meh. Okay. Yeah, if we lost our team. Uh-huh. It, it was a warning. Womp womp. Oh well. Whatever. We lost four boys. We'll scavenge some Neo N. We have more than enough. Local system map, mercenary outpost, and some unidentified contact. Let's go with the unidentified contact. It's likely a combat. Battle imminent. Well, it's about time. Get uh, wetting our appetite for um, incoming enemy reinforcements. Oh, that's... Why, though? That's too many. I don't like this. Okay. Get you out of there, put you in here, and since we don't have any other fighters that can deal with this ably, let's just throw some drones at it, honestly. Um, bam. Bam. Unpause, let's go. We have flak. Um... What do we want to do? Let's attack the hull, why not? Doesn't seem to have any weapons to speak of. Oh, whatever. Let's just attack the weapon system. How long until reinforcements? Three seconds. Um, before we get displaced. Or that. Cool. Where's our flak cannon? It's nearly online. Um. Just a couple more seconds. Oh. That's it? And here I was worried. Eh, whatever. I guess that's fine. Let's uh, max out squadron dock recovery. Exactly as we wanted to do. Mercenary outpost, is there really a reason to visit? We don't even have the scrap for it. Let's just go to the next star. Nuri. And finally we're gonna be dealing with a cluster boss and ooh, I don't know what I'm in for. But I hope it's not gonna be too disastrous. Lads are twiddling their thumbs. Um Yeah, honestly, I think we're as prepared as we can be for this uh upcoming fight couple of anomaly signals. Do we really want to deal with them? You know what? No. We're rushing straight for it. 
I think we're ready. Let's just deal with the cluster boss. You see, you're not my real mom. You can't tell me what to do. An incoming train. Ooh. Okay. Bit spooky. Um. Okay, she's not letting me make demands. Okay, cool. Um, that was a creepy conversation. Mother wants to get a bit closer to us. I, like, I don't know, playing house or something? Either way, her ship looks, uh, frighteningly massive. Has four different hull points we need to take down. Well, we have four of our own, and sort of like an extra one, really. You know, we're up to 125 health on each. So then, enemy reinforcements, three boomers. Call to arms. Every 80 seconds, three incoming enemy reinforcement units are added to the battlefield. Okay, good. Oh, she's... Oh, this is a swarm unit. Okay, good. Um... I see how it is. Okay. Oh boy. Well, we've intercepted one of them. Okay. Let's help deal with that. Come on, help us out here, bud. Okay, just a bunch of boomers. Um... Disappointing, but okay. Like, we expected this to happen to some degree. Um... Well, let's get her off. Uh, some of her drones off of us. Um, Squadron Bay, let's attack that. Seems to be the best, uh, choice for us here. Stop damaging our ship, okay? All we're doing here is we're just trying to buy some time. Buy some time. And, um... Not the Bender Drive 1, not the Mark 3. Let's go with the Mark 1 frigate, honestly. Okay, perfect. Um... Beautiful. Head on over to the other side, okay? Sub-Zero guns. Okay, cool, more flak, perfect. Attack the squadron bay. Um, what do we send out now? Well, I think we want to send out one of our... those frigates, honestly. Not quite yet. There we go, you attack it now. We want you there. Um, do we have access to any of those? No, not quite. Oh, god, this is gonna be hell. Okay, perfect. Boomers, unfortunate. Um... I don't quite want to use the flak yet. Okay, let's deal with that. Let's deal with you now. So long as we can get him off our backs. Call to arms in 12 seconds. Yeah, we need to be somewhat proactive with this. Okay. Beautiful. Alright. Smacking us with flacking. Okay. Um. Oh. 
That did not go as planned. Whatever. Attack that. Get some of these out on the field. Okay, Flack. What can you do for us? Beautiful. Well, that hurt. Freeze them in place. We need to get some of our boys out in the field, you know? You know how it is. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's get that cruiser online, see if we can actually work some magic. Um... Okay. Kill him. Perfect. We did that very, very well. Get a frigate out on the field. Damn it. Perfect. Continue attacking the squadron bay. This needs to be happening right now. Before we get more of them to deal with. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Exactly the sort of magic I want to be working on this field. Now, um, teleportation drones, I think, is another good plan for us. How about Flak? Flak? Um. Very good. And we keep the Sub-Zero gun around, we keep that place locked down. Cool, final hull point, and I think we're gonna manage this quite well. Enemy weapon ready to fire. I don't think I care much. Just did a bit of damage to us. Whatever, we'll deal. Cool, we damaged that subsystem again. Um... Bye-bye, Mom! Well, what are we waiting for? We have some questions. Um, why was she terrorizing the sectors? Okay, apparently we were too 1% to care about the lower classes. Okay, so they were factory workers. All right. Well, that explains to some degree why they had so many tumors. Uh, they were likely dealing with uh, hazardous materials all the time. Okay. Well... Why were the Omnis shut down? Well, she doesn't know how to turn them back on and or off. Still the same old injustices, yes, but I didn't crash them myself. Do we know who or what did that? Maybe we're a bit too dependent on the machines, and I quite agree that maybe we ought to... We sort of deserve this one if this is the state the galaxy's in right now. Church of the Singularity. Lies and false promises. They had a plan to free the Omnis. It was his opinion that they'd succeeded in doing so. Hmm. Why did this Church of Singularity do that? I sort of 
clicked a bit too fast, but I think I know what's up. Um, with the question Idaho asked here. Does she know anything about me? Well, that's it. Huh. All the Omnis in all clusters have shut down. Hoo hoo. Well, it does appear everywhere else is just as chaotic, otherwise we wouldn't have a roguelike to play. Well, the Empire does seem to be in quite a sorry state for itself. She decided to self-destruct, or... Yeah, that looks like a self-destruct. Well, Mother and her cronies are more... no more. That'd give me nightmares if he was capable of having any. Unfortunately, we weren't able to turn the Omnis back on, nor learn who shut them down. Well, at least the Outer Rim is safer. Well, everyone seems to be running out of time because they can't uh, do anything on their own without robots. Lovely. It's a pity that no Luddites survived until this late into the, uh... Well, whenever this is in the galaxy. Um, do we think that the church is behind all of this? The church apparently existed back in the day. I could have played a part in it. And yeah, the scrappers don't quite seem to be capable of doing the shutdown on their own. Um... Let's ask about the Church of the Singularity. Um... What is there to know? Uh, almost as long as the Empire, several hundred years. You... Who exactly started it is a mystery. The Book of Omni seems to be like their Bible. Celebrating the moment artificial intelligence surpassed human intelligence. Um... And yeah, they basically treat the Omnis like gods. Makes sense. Um... Oberon only made the first advanced machines, not the Omnis themselves. Um... Well, whatever. Uh, are you controlled by a Rubicon? Yes. Does it bother you? Um... No, but maybe because he's only programmed not to be annoyed. Well, that's good. Um... How many people believed in the church? Almost 99%. The wealthiest in the Empire typically were non-believers. Sounds about right. Well, they were the only ones who owned the Omni, so makes sense. What about the three major houses? House Telos, which Oberon started and which I'm a part of. Um, dominant House of the Empire. House Akibara Sung and House Kosh Buenid Buendia. Three most powerful. Below them you have a fair number of minor houses like the pitiful, pitiful House Vicarelli. Poor House Vicarelli. Why are you slagging on House Vicarelli so much, okay? Sounds sounds pretty bad. Anyways. Um Well, does he believe they were shut down in all sectors? Any snippets here? Yeah, seems to be pretty normal stuff. Um The fold net would have been fixed. Why didn't you shut yourself down? Gehenna. Yes, on Gehenna, Oberon isolated me from the other Omnis. We were not connected to the Fold Net like they were, even that that was illegal. So whenever, when it, so whenever, whoever, or whatever, um, let me try that again. Whenever, whoever, or whatever shut down the Omnis, um, seemingly using the Fold Net, it he wasn't affected. Cool. Uh, there seemed to be a, an anticipation of such a scenario. 
Apparently we were a backup plan to save the Empire. Hmm. Well, what do we want to know? Ask Kaban who or what was most likely to shut down the machines. Human or group of humans. Accessing the fold net. I'm just skimming through all of this. I want to get on to the end of the episode already. Um, we're sort of dragging this on, but I'm at the same time sort of interested in the story. It seems to be fairly, um, story by numbers at the moment. Let's try to recall an emotionally linked memory. Um... And I guess that's it for the conversation with Caliban. We're trapped. He can get this folder to work. Of course he can. Of course he can. Uh, it should take us to a hub where we can find a folder to project us into the church cluster, but you're not a folder on me. No, but like I was saying, Oberon anticipated this sort of stuff, so... I can also use the folders. Nice. But because I'm not a real folder omni, there are limits to what I can project. Only matter that I've pre-calculated, which means we'll have to start at square one on the other side of the folder without our ship and crew. Or with our ship and crew. It's better than being stuck here. Also, now that we've pacified this cluster, we can take a detour to Gehenna to change our ship and specialist officers. Perhaps certain improvements can be made, like the fact that we have this guy. I like this guy a lot. Let's ask about folder omnis quickly. Um... They must have been some of the first Omnis. Uh, are you ready, Admiral? Uh, let's go. So basically, we're going to... die. I guess. And start out as another clone. I am... Enjoying the aesthetics of this a lot. Oh my. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that a lot. And we've unlocked a new battleship. The Chaos Class. And I guess... This is where we call the episode for now. Next time I'm going to be doing an episode, we'll be on Chapter 2, and we're going to be trying out that Chaos Class, uh, Cruiser, Battleship, whatever the hell it is. Until then, I have been Smastian, and I will see you on a Cosmic Battlefield. Have a good day.